Okay, so we're here ready for another video. Since you guys love my cooking videos, we're making a midnight snack. Well, I'm going to call it a midnight snack. Uh, we are going to make some Hershey's ch chocolate chip cookies. And I'm going to add some of my coconut, coconut crumb thingies. So, I don't want to mop this chocolate. But I got my recipe. I'm going to use the dark chocolate and the um, milk chocolate. Two thirds of a... We need two thirds of a cup, two of a third of a cup. So today we don't have butter, so I'm going to use margarine. I could use oil, oil or I could use uh, coconut oil too, but I don't want to do that because then I'll make the cookies too greasy. So we're going to put one. We're going to put uh, four of these because I'm making two batches. So we're going to put four, one thirds. So we need two thirds for one package. Like if you were just going to do one package, you need two-thirds of a cup so this is about the for one and then I got to get the other butter out second okay so I got the other butter here I had to go um, put some more in the microwave so we're gonna put I'm just gonna put it right in here because I don't want to get it messy but we're gonna use we're going to do double batch, so we're going to use four times that, four times three quarters of a cup. I mean, a third of a cup, sorry. I almost said too much. Three quarters of a cup. And it doesn't have to be exactly because I'm going to put a little bit more stuff in there. So, there's that. Okay, so we got the butter in. And next we got the eggs and I got the eggs right here and I'm going to use the eggs that I got from my friend and she got them like she got them right out of her from her chickens and these are brown eggs so they're even better for you and they're better for baking and they have there's so much more color I'll show you guys in a minute here once I crack the eggs so you think it says to have two eggs so I'm going to do four eggs make some cookies all right so see the eggs the eggs and the butter see how nice and colorful they are better than those other eggs that you have that you buy at the grocery store all right so next we got so we're gonna mix this up I'm gonna take this right out I don't want my pot to be out over there but um, I need the whisk. Mix, mix, mix this all together here. You gotta break the eggs up a little bit or else it's gonna splash everywhere. Look how nice and yellow that is. These are gonna be so yummy, these cookies, right? And then next I will put in I was saying to put the sugar in now too. So I guess it said butter, then sugar, then eggs, but I'm going to do this way. So anyway, so we got, I put four eggs and so four thirds of a, four thirds of a cup of butter and we need uh, four cups of sugar, but I'm going to, what are you doing? Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Morning. It's midnight, my son just waking up, right? So, we are going to put half brown sugar and half white sugar because I don't think I have that much brown sugar. I am making double because I, you know, my, my fridge is like has no snacks in it. So, this is here's pretty much four cups actually. So I might not have to do put. I'm only going to put a tiny the bit of a white sugar in it. The rest is going to be brown sugar. Well, this is like light brown sugar. Actually, no, this is dark brown sugar. So it's better anyway. So we're going to put that sugar in, and I'm going to put a tiny little bit of white sugar just to make it four cups. Okay, so we're going to. I was going to use that here. I'm going to use the rest of this in here. It's not that much. 
Now we're going to mix the sugar in. The sugar. They're going to be so good, these cookies. And if you don't have brown sugar, you could always use molasses, I guess. And then you use white sugar with molasses, right? That would make brown sugar. And I don't want these uh, hard pieces of sugar. I should have um, sifted it. It'll just be more a crispy part of the cookie wherever the sugar lies, right? <laughs> All right, so now we need... Um, two and so we need four, four and a half cups of I mean not sugar four and a half cups of flour sorry not sugar flour we're gonna start I'm just gonna start with I'm gonna start with three cups three cups of flour I gotta put my eggs away because I'm gonna put an extra egg in there too because I am putting the uh, I am putting the olive oil I mean I am putting the uh, what do you call it the coconut flakes I'm gonna put two more eggs because then I can use up the rest of these eggs that I got from the farm so it has a little shell I need the shell off there here now those eggs are used up this is just some late night making cookies, you know. So now it's nice, uh, a nice runny base mixture. Oh, and then I like to put, um, I want to put some of this in there. I like to put some um, vanilla in it. I know it's artificial, but the real vanilla is very expensive. And you don't have to be really cheap with it. You know, you can just put a little more because it is the artificial stuff and yeah, I just love the smell when it's vanilla in it too and now I'm gonna put the flour oh we forgot we forgot baking soda and baking well the baking powder is gonna go in the flour so I'm going to mix uh, one teaspoon of bake actually two teaspoons of well we're just gonna wing it but it says for each package to make one package you need one well you could just read the package yes but I'm gonna put more like a tablespoon in there instead of two teaspoons and then we need a little baking soda and the baking soda I'm gonna mix it with water I go through baking soda with my bath and I use it to clean and baking soda is actually a good thing when you use it right you now hold on one sec so it also tells you to put a little bit of warm water so I just put the baking soda in with the water and the baking powder in with the flour and then to make things a little bit sweeter you want to just put why am I always taking the ones that aren't open um, you want to just put a little tiny bit like a little pinch of salt that just makes everything that just brings the flavors really 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 well together and it uh, makes it sweeter too makes the sweetness come out you know if you ever had like a watermelon it wasn't very sweet and you put a little bit of salt on it and made it sweeter right all right so now we're gonna add this I, I just want to mix the baking powder a little bit with it we're just gonna put this flour in might have to add more flour and clean my glasses after this too so we're just gonna mix this I should probably use a spoon I'm just kind of folding it in first. I don't want the flour to go all over the place. The oven should be hot soon. I have it set at 300 and uh, my, this oven I have 390. Um, I sometimes do 400. So we're going to take this out now. And now we're going to use we're going to use this spatula will clean the edges nice this works. I am putting a little bit less flour because I am putting the 
I'm going to put a little more flour though. So I tell you to put about four and a half cups of flour for the two together. About two and a half, about two cups and I'll just tell you guys the rest up at the end of, end of this too. Um, so t two and three, two and two, two and two thirds of a cup. So it doesn't have to be exact. But I'm putting a little bit less because I am going to be putting um, that extra stuff in there like the shredded, shredded coconut and two different uh, chocolate chips. So it's gonna be double chocolate. I could put peanut butter in there too, but I'm not gonna this time. Sometimes I put oatmeal, but I'm not gonna do that either. I'm just gonna put make. Uh, we're just gonna do this. These are unsweetened ones, by the way. So now we're just gonna add the chocolate chips as well. Then we got the coconut and the chocolate chips and then we're gonna start making them. I got the I got the parchment paper already on the cookie sheets. So we're gonna start with the dark chocolate. We're just gonna pour it all in. And then you just bake them for about 10 minutes. So yeah, if you want this recipe, just go check out Chips Ahoy. That's actually the way that you can do that. I'm not being sponsored by them or anything. I just making my cookies. But if you want the actual recipe, just go look on the on the cookies. Cookie. Yeah. There's one stuck in there. They started melting because I had them on the stove here. So I'm mixing everything on the stove. There's one. That's I'm going to leave it and uh, eat it later. Okay, so now we're going to mix it all up. It's going to be some lots of chocolate chips. You can also put this probably in the fridge and then do the rest tomorrow if you want, you'd want to. Oops. Sorry, guys. Ugh. I'm sure you could put these in the fridge and, like, do them the next day or something. I hope I don't knock my phone over again because the... I have a board up here, like a cutting board, and I have my bowl up here by the stove. And I dropped you guys once already. So I just don't want to mix it too much, but it's perfectly mixed now, I think, for the cookies. So now we just put them on the sheet here. And there was one that's melting already. All right. Now we're going to turn the angle of the camera so you can see what I'm doing. There, I think you can see this part now. Alright, now I need a spoon. And we'll use a spatula. So we're just going to use a spoonful. I'm not going to make that little of cookies because people like bigger cookies. So. So we're just going to use a t like a tablespoonful, and this isn't perfect. I'm just you know, no, I don't own a restaurant. I just uh, cook for my family, well, and my friends too. I do cook for my friends. Or family, or friends are that are like family. And so hopefully they don't run together too much. Or off the edge. They're gonna be so delicious. And I have another um, video that I haven't made yet of the very simple cookies that you can make with a um, cake mix. You can make very simple cookies in all kinds of ways. You can do it too. I don't want them to be going off the the edges or anything. But these are kind of kind of big. 
I think the oven is already hot. It's got to be hot. I don't think I heard it going off. Like I think it did probably go off. All right, so here's the cookies. Now these are going to go in the oven. Put these in here. I think the oven is hot, so we'll put them in for 10. Oh, shit. That was awesome. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We'll check them in 10 minutes. And we'll just make some more. And I got the other one ready, too. Just got to grab it. Just don't have that much room on here. I'm using parchment paper that way I don't have to spend hours scraping the pans when they stick because it tells you they won't stick but it actually does stick so you gotta find out where the edge is <laughs> I can't really see what I'm doing here but oh there better better hope it doesn't fall over I have quite a bit of cookie dough here. Uh-oh. Something fell down. Where's the end? Okay. Yummy, yummy cookies. This is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. I follow the recipe. To the most point. And then I kind of, I always have to do that. I always do things my own way. I guess that's why me and my mama always butted heads because I'm always doing things my way and she doesn't think it's the right way and I'm just like it's my right way but we we argued we we argued when I was younger about it all the time but now it's my son <laughs> my son is like me now like how I was when I was younger and he argues me on every point even if it's pointless I tell you, pointless. All right. Until I get back, I'll talk to you later. All right. The cookies have been in 10 minutes for at 390. I had my oven at 390. They've been in at for 10 minutes now, so let's check them. And I think they're perfect, so let's grab the thingy. Oops. Got the grab the thing so you don't burn your hand right look at that look at those cookies they're gonna be so good right I let them cool down a little bit and I gotta put the other one in there the other one doesn't need so I'll put them in so I can hold on to them right so this this one's going in next so they went from that to that really quick. That to that. All right, let's put these babies in, and then we'll put them in for ten minutes again. Push that in. So here I have my handy dandy rack. I'm gonna put it. I'm going to. Am I gonna put a towel on it? No, I'm good. I washed it. It's clean. So now we're gonna put them on here. So they should just come right up because there is parchment paper. Oh, you can't see, right? Again, you can't say. You can't say. All right. Try this. Hopefully, the the camera doesn't fall on the cookies. Okay, so this is what they look like. Mm. Not burnt at all, and I can just pick them up too. They're a little, you know, you gotta have a little tough skin to to touch hot stuff. Many years of doing dishes in hot water. We always had to do the dishes that uh, as hot as we could to handle it to rinse. I think I'm just going to reuse this one for the next batch. I'm going to do one more batch. 
And this parchment paper can be used twice at least. <clears throat> All right, so let's get the next one in here. This is what this looks like. Oh, 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 no. One fell off of there. All right, I got it back on. All right. So I'll just end the video here now and then um, you know what to make cookies. And if you want the recipe, go check out Chips Ahoy. So, look at this baby. I'm going to take this one with the lots of chocolate chips. They're going to be so hot. Don't bring him out. Mmm. Just what I needed. And I had the energy to make it. I didn't really, but I did. It's like 12 o'clock right now. I'm at night. This is when I bake. I might just leave the rest of it tomorrow until tomorrow. Anyways, hope you enjoy the cookies and go bake them too. Alright? God bless everybody. Bye now. And yeah, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I come on next. And hit that, hit that like button too. God bless you all. Bye.